We continue our breaking news coverage at five where a propane leak is causing big concerns tonight in Durham. Thanks for being with us. I'm Russ Bowen and I'm Liz Ortiz. This is happening along Andrew Avenue from Jones Circle to Cortez Drive where a large propane tank is leaking. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis is live from the scene. Mariah, what can you tell us? Yeah, we're actually standing near Andrew and Pleasant Drive, and you can see traffic has kind of slowed down here at this point, but we've been seeing a lot of families coming through here evacuating after they got an alert on their phone to um, immediately evacuate this area. And I can say that we also have lots of agencies behind us that continue to work and block intersections at this point. I did just get off the phone with Durham Deputy Fire Chief, and they're one of many agencies, of course, helping with this effort. And he tells me they're focusing on a 30,000-gallon propane tank out here that's located between Andrew Avenue and those railroad tracks. And we've been able to really kind of focus on what they're doing. You can see those large propane trucks. That was from our Sky View, or our Sky I-17 drone. And they say the trucks are actually offloading the propane tank. They're not sure how much is in it or how much it's leaking at this point. And while they continue to work, they're asking everyone within a half mile radius of that tank to evacuate. We've been hearing from neighbors, from families, some who say they can't get to their other family members or even some of their pets. He said that nobody was able to go through, and I'm calling my fiance, wondering what's going on, and I can't get through this way. I couldn't get over there through the bridge, and my dog's in the house. That's that's like my family. Yeah, what and questions I, do you have at this point? Well, I just want to know what's going on, if my dog's going to be safe, how they're handling it. I just got off work, and I'm dealing with this. Again, firefighters are asking people within that half mile radius to evacuate and they're saying forget about turning off the lights, turning off or switching off those appliances. Leave things as they are out of extra precaution. They said unlike other natural gases, propane actually hangs lower to the ground. And they said, of course, this gas is also very flammable. And I do want to point out that we did have some other people out here, including some students that got dropped off by a school bus out here. That was probably about 40 minutes ago. Their parents actually just arrived very frustrated at this point. And again, lots of people still asking questions. And Dora Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of concern here. Mariah, have you heard anything about the time frame about when this will all be resolved? Yes, actually, we just got off the phone with the Durham Fire Department. And at first, we were told possibly around 6.30 or so that people could possibly get back to their homes. That has now been extended to 10 p.m. That's what they're estimating at this point. And they also say that the railroad that's next to us will also be closed for several hours. This is going to be happening for quite some time. Mariah, thank you for the update.